Hey guys, it's a deadly kitten here. Um, first and foremost, I do have, if you're new here, welcome by the way. But first and foremost, um, I do do a lot of unboxings and there is just something that I want to get kind of off my chest and kind of see how you guys feel um, before I get into my unboxing. I have two of them I got to do today. Um, but my first one basically like, it is now December 2nd, I believe, um, and I extended my giveaway until December 15th, which it still is true. Um, however, there's only like maybe six entries into that, so I'm just kind of curious. Do you guys still want me to do giveaways? Um, because I have a whole entire box, and I have a whole bunch of those little tiny bags, and so I have no idea whether or not you guys want me to do the giveaway still or if maybe we should hold off because I was at 250 and now I'm almost to 200 subscribers. So I've lost a lot of people. Um, if you guys have any ideas for me on how to change my channel, uh, what you guys would suggest to do, um, that would be great if you guys think I should even continue because there are times where I'm just like, you know what, I love unboxing things. Um, I started this channel just for my love of unboxing and it took me a while. I mean, if you go back to like my first ever videos on here, you can see like I wasn't comfortable showing my face. I wasn't comfortable doing a lot of things and... You know, I've grown out of my shell, but it was just like, this is something that I love to do, and I'm not, I mean, I'm not doing this for money, obviously. Um, I'm not getting paid. It's literally, I'm doing this because I love unboxing things, and it's just really difficult because I don't know what to do now. Um, because like I said, no one's really entered this giveaway. Um, I'm losing subscribers instead of gaining. And like, I try, I honestly do try to reach out to you guys. Like if you guys comment on a video, I try to comment back as much as I can. There are times or days, um, whenever I'm in a lot of pain, um, or I'm just not feeling that good. I'm just like, eh, I'll get to you and then I kind of forget and I do apologize for that and But um, Please just let me know in the comments below um, What you guys think? let me grab my knife because uh, The only unboxing really that I have not done this month is my Sephora play I have gotten this a while ago, it just, this is one of the last things that kind of showed up, so I kind of forgot to film. It's just been kind of just sitting there. Like, come on, you gotta open me up, because usually, you know, you would think with Black Friday and everything, that I would be opening this, especially to go use my points coupon. But I didn't, actually, surprisingly, I bought no makeup this year. So, anyway, this is what it looks like when you open it. Uh, there's actually a crossword puzzle on here, so that's actually kind of weird. But here is the little baggie here. I'm going to keep this box out. On the back, it actually says a lot of different things. I'm not really sure what that means, if they're all different languages for play. Um, I'm going to set that down really quickly here. So it says the stay in and playbook. So they have a spot the difference, a word search, and a self care crossword. But no play. Interesting. There is no card this month. Huh. It says, what's better than new beauty? New beauty and a night of self-care. So go ahead and put on that mask while you, that you, 
You've been meaning to try. These puzzles will be here for it while you dry. Or while it dries. Okay, and if you guys don't know, Sephora is $10 plus tax. So I usually pay like $10.70. So this is actually a really tiny month, it looks like. If I can even open this. So the first thing is a scent of black opium. I am not going to open this. I do not like the scent. Um, it is very musky. Um, so it says this is a warm and spicy scent vibes. Perfectly for a slow candlelit evening. It says it is black coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. I'm not too sure on that. I just know that I just do not like it. So... The next thing in here is from NARS. Uh, this is a lipstick, and this is in the shade Tolide, and this is a satin uh, lipstick. Let me see what it says. This is a classic pink rose lipstick with a satin finish. It is cozy, personalized. So let's kind of take it out, and I'll show you what the color looks like. I do like... NARS lipsticks. I'm just not a huge fan of stick lipsticks. Now, obviously, this is not full size, um, and I'm going to be putting this aside. You do get a pretty good amount, um, and that's as high as it will go. It just doesn't look as pink as it says in the thing. Like, it says it's a cozy pink, but, I mean, it kind of really does look like what it looks like on the sticker. But I don't know what it looks like swatched, obviously. So there is that. The next thing in here is something that I already have. Uh, but this is by Glam Glow. This is their Glow Starter. This is a mega illuminizing moisturizer. I have used this before. This is actually what I got for my birthday gift last year. Um, it says, there's never a dull moment with a pearl particle infused moisturizer that hydrates as it highlights. I mean, I have used it before. It's not that bad, to be honest. Um, it's just, I'm not one for a dewy kind of look. I am more of a matte person. And then, the next thing is by Sika Pear. This is a Dermagreen solution. This is, actually, no, this is by Dr. Jart. This is their Sika Pair. It's a tiger grass color correcting treatment. Uh, this I actually kind of want to give to my mom. If it does what I think it does. It says neutralize redness of the skin with the tiger grass infused treatment that soothes and protects skin from environmental aggressors. So, I don't know if it's just for redness. Um, or what. But I think my mom would like that. Next thing is a mascara. This is in our by Lancome. This is called Hype Nose Drama. I don't know if you guys can see any of that. Um, yeah, it's called Hype Nose Drama Instant Full Body Mascara. It is a brush shaped like an S. Takes the stress out of mascara application. One coat and done. So, I may try this. I may not. Um, be honest with you, like, I don't know what it was, but for Thanksgiving, like, I did my makeup like I normally do, and I used brushes that I just washed. So, none of the brushes that I used were, like, new or used, but for some odd reason, like, I woke up Saturday, and, like, or not Saturday, but Friday, and my eye was just killing me back here. So I don't know if it was the brushes, if it was the eyeshadow, or if it was the mascara that I used. So I'm going to probably try because the mascara that I used was the Damn Girl um, by Too Faced. So I'll let you know. Um, I don't think it was because of Too Faced. Um, just want to clarify that. I think maybe I got sent a bad um mascara but anyway the last item here is by Clinique they are actually one of my favorite brands um which I don't think I mentioned that enough 
and this is in black honey this is an almost lipstick what does that mean almost lipstick it says adds a slight wash of universally flattering color with this plum tinted lip balm meets lipstick okay and it does it looks kind of blackish a little more like a black red and you get quite well not quite a lot but you get a decent amount at least I mean it's barely tinted so yeah that's not bad I'll definitely try to use that although I'm gonna say like it is a little misleading because the picture here shows a lot darker than what it actually is uh, but yeah that is everything that I got in my Sephora play if you get this box what did you guys get um please let me know down in the comments below I always love to know what other people get as opposed to me um, but yeah, that is everything that I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.